So, it's finally time for you to farm the best class in EQW, Void High Lord. And luckily for you, you don't have to waste your sleep, your social life and everything else to get this class like most people did 8 years ago. Because it is now easier than ever to get this class, and I will show you exactly how. So, to even access the Void High Lord NPC, you must go to slash join citadel and talk to this NPC. So, if you haven't completed the quest line already, you'll have to talk to Murray, do all of these quests which are super quick, just kill some monsters, and then after you do this, two more quests will appear. The two quests will require you to kill Belro and an Inquisitor. Once you complete those two quests, you'll have to go into this tunnel right here. You enter through this right tunnel, then you go all the way here, and into this tunnel. And here, if you haven't killed him already, he'll be able to let you do a quest called Beyond the Portal. You accept his quest, you kill him easy peasy, and then you no longer have to do this ever again, and you can now use a shortcut for entering Tercesu Not Limb. From this point on, if you want to access Tercesu Not Limb, you just do slash join, and you remember how to spell this map. Next, we go through this tunnel, then the right tunnel, and into this tunnel, and we're almost there at the VHL NPC. Now, to get Void High Lord, we only need three things, Void Crystal A, B, and 15 Rowan Geniums. I'm going to show you how to get the Rowan Geniums. Click on Quest, Void High Lord Challenge, and to get a Rowan Genium, we have to complete the quest. First, we have to get a Voucher of Nulgath non-member and a Hadian Onyx of Nulgath. So first, we're going to pick up a Hadian Onyx of Nulgath. Over here, you want to kill the Shadow of Nulgath monster. I think it has a 1% drop rate of dropping the Hadian Onyx. Next, we want to get the Voucher of Nulgath non-member. To get the Voucher of Nulgath non-member, you want to go to this screen and this one. And here, you want to click on Quests. Supplies to spin the Wheel of Chance, except... Alternatively, you could do the exact same quest, except this costs you 100k gold. So you have to click on his shop. And you can buy as many of these as you want. And when you turn the quest, it has like a 3% drop rate. And it also drops a bunch of other reagents. If you don't have gold to spend, you can just do this quest by going to slash your Asherion. Over here, you just kill Asherion until he drops a Relic of Chaos, and then you turn in the quest. So now that we've unlocked the quest, we can start farming a bunch of common Nulgath reagents like Unidentified 13, Tainted Gems, Gem of Nulgath, and many more. Before I show you the free to play way to do this, if you want to spend money, I would recommend either getting this pair, which is seasonal, every January, or you could also get the Swindle Bilk pair right over here. If you buy this pair, the good thing is, you can access all of his quests wherever you want without going to Tersasu Notlim, and also it gives you one more bonus quest. This quest is great because anytime you do the supplies to spin the Wheel of Chance, you get a bunch of useless items, and you can turn these useless items in for some amazing rewards here. The same goes for the Swindles Return Policy quest. Now, if you really want to go all out, you can spend 5,000 ACs on Crag and Bamboozle, which is hugely useful for a lot of reagents. So if you decide to buy any of these pets, ignore my free-to-play options and just use your pet instead. Now, back to farming normally. So we're going to start off with the Black Knight Orb. You want to go to Map, and you want to go to Green Guard West. Over here, click on this map, and click on Black Knight. So you click on this NPC, click Quests, Hardly Suiting Armor, and you want to get all four of these pieces. First, you want to go to Slash Join Well and kill the jello until he drops one of the pieces. Then you go to slash join green dragon, and you kill him until he drops one piece. Then you wanna to go to slash join death gazer, and you kill this until it drops. And next you wanna to go to the basilisk at slash join trunk. And once you have gotten all the items, you can turn in, and we finally have the black knight orb. Next, we're going to get some Elder's Blood. You can only get one per day, so make sure you don't forget to do it every day. You go to slash join Arkham Grove. Here you go up into this portal, then this one, daily task, Elder's Blood. And then you just kill all the Grillifants in the area, and you can find two per room over here. Next, you want to get some Nolgat shaped chocolate, which you have to go to slash join Citadel. You click on the NPC, you click shop, Nolgat shaped chocolate for 2 mil coins. After that, we want to get an A liters emerald. You get this at slash join Yolga. Here you go to Yolga, click on his shops, weapon shop. Elite is emerald and it's completely free. Next, we're going to get 50 essence of Nolgath. You go to slash to intercess. Here, you want to kill the Makai as they drop essence of Nolgath. 
Next, we're going to get Archfiend's Favor and Nullgat's Approval in Slash Joint Evil War Null. So you just want to go to this first room over here and kill these monsters and they'll drop both of those reagents. Next up, we're going to get some Emblems of Nullgat. Just go to Slash Joint Shadow Blast. Over here, you want to click on this NPC, do quests, and you want to accept and complete these four quests. And these require you to kill the monsters in the area, which is quite easy. Once you complete this quest, you'll get the Nation Round 4 Medal. Once you get the Round 4 Medal in your inventory, you'll be able to do these two quests. You accept Nation Recruits quest, and you go through here. And over here, you kill the monsters until you complete the quest. Now, we only have two items left to get, the Tainted Gems and the Gem of Nolgath. Now, the way you get this is you go to Swindle Bilk, and over here, click on Quests. And I would recommend doing these two quests, Supplies and the Assistant. If you want a fast way to get Tainted Gems, do Swindle Bulk. However, the reason I recommend doing this is because it gives you loads of Nolgath items all at once, even though it is slower at Tainted Gems. Also, every time it drops an unidentified 1, 6, 9, 16, and 20, accept the drop so then you can do swindle's return policy and this gives you huge amount of good items however if you want to do swindle bulk all you have to do is go to slash join boxes and kill all the sneevel monsters in this area or if you have a party kill the sneevel tron or even kill these sneevels here and then to get the six ice cubes you go to slash join mount frost and over here you just kill these monsters as for the last two items in the quest unidentified 13 and gem of nolgath you can either get these from spamming this quest supplies to spin and the assistant or if you want to get them individually you have to go to slash join yolga 9889 now you must be in the arctic server for this to work these people are only here in the arctic server over here you can access this pair, click on Vouch Item Totem of Nolgath, and if you get 60 essence of Nolgath from killing Makai, you can get 10 gems of Nolgath. As for the unidentified 13, you want to click on this pair over here, Nolgath's Ruler of Misfortune, accept and go to slash join elemental, click on Great Mana Golem, and you want to kill this guy until he drops the item. And here you want to kill the Mana Falcon until you complete the quest. This has a 5% chance of dropping Unidentified 13 compared to Supplies to Spin the Wheel of Chance which only has a 1%. Now if you haven't done this already, you can get a one time completely free Unidentified 13 and I'll show you how. So first of all you want to meet up with Nolgath and the way to access Nolgath is easier than ever. So I think you just go through the middle, you go through this long pathway and into here. The direction you have to take is middle, right, middle, right, right, left, left. There should be some rocks here to show you the way. I don't know why they're not here right now. So when you reach Nolgath for the first time, he'll basically give you a free unidentified 13 here just by speaking to him. By now, you should be finished with this quest and turn it in. Once you complete this quest 15 times, you should have about 300 unidentified 10, but you only need 200 to make the VHL class. So if you have any spare unidentified 10, just use it in the Swindle Bilk merge shop. Now there is one other way to get a Rowan Genium and it is way easier than doing this quest. You have to go to slash join Ultra Nolgath. Now you must be level 80 to do this and you can only do it once a week. Click on weekly quest, accept this and once you kill Ultra Nolgath you'll get 5 insignia which you can use in the merge shop make two Rowan Geniums. So this is way quicker as it only takes our five minutes to kill Ultra Nolgath. And thankfully most people in public rooms now are pretty knowledgeable on how to kill an Ultra Boss. So if you need any help, uh, just ask the people around you. Once you get 15 Rowan Geniums, you want to start farming Void Crystal A and B. For Void Crystal A, you should already have 200 Unidentified 10 just from doing the Rowan Genium quest over here. It gives 20 Unidentified 10 per turn in. As for the Gems of Nolgath, I already explained how to get that earlier in the video. However, instead of farming each one separately, I would recommend doing them together. Using these two quests, Supplies to Spin the Wheel of Chance, and assistant, you can mass farm a lot of the items you need like Tainted Gems, Dark Crystal Shard, Diamonds of Nolgath, and this is a lot faster than farming each one individually, so I'd recommend bulk farming using this quest, and also make sure to use this whenever you can, once you get these unidentified drops. 
But one thing you should remember is that if you attain to gems start ma maxing out and your dark crystal shards are nowhere near, you can turn your tainted gems into dark crystal shards. Go to slash join dreadrock. Over here you want to talk to entropy, click quest and accept a tainted deal. Over here you can turn 50 tainted gems into 5 dark crystal shards. Now to get elder's blood that's pretty easy, you just go to Arkham Grove and do the daily quest. To get totems of Nolgath, it's the exact same method as gems of Nolgath. You just go to Yolga9889 and you accept Drygen's quest which requires you to farm essence of Nolgath. And finally for blood gem of the Archfiend. You might be able to get a few just from mass farming all the other items. But if you still have some more left to get, I'd recommend going over to uh, Swindle Bilk. And of course, if you have some spare unidentified 10 and receipts of Swindle, use this. But if you don't, then just do Bloody Chaos. To complete Bloody Chaos, you want to go to slash join Asherion. You just kill Asherion until he drops Asherion's helm. And to get the Shattered Legendary Sword of Dragon Control, you want to go to Chaos Lord Varth. You can just go to slash join Stalagbite and kill Varth over here. And over here he drops the Shattered Legendary Sword of Dragon Control. You have to go to slash join Hydra Challenge and the easiest one is level 25. There are loads of people farming this here so it should be easy peasy to get. And this is the best way to get Blood Gems. And once you have enough Blood Gems you can get Void Crystal B, A and Void High Lord. This is my most used class in all my almost 10 years of AQW. Like the video and join the Discord link in description. Subscribe and see you guys next time.